What's going on everyone? This is Dr. Gunnel here from Octagonal Gaming. Now we are back with the Madden 19 rebuild. Today we are going to be doing the Chicago Bears. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And also make sure to vote for who we rebuild next. There will be a straw poll in the description as well as in the comment. So uh, let's look at this Bears roster. See what we have to work with. Starting with Mitchell Trubisky at quarterback. In real life, I think Trubisky is going to be a bust. He's already 24, and he has he didn't really show any flashes last year. He wasn't terrible, but he didn't show a lot of upside. Then again, you could say he didn't have any weapons outside of a running back position, which is true. And now he's, he does have some more weapons in Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, and Trey Burton. So, I'm not going to say Mitchell Trubisky is a bust. I'm going to say I think he will be a bust, but we do need to see another year from him. For the rebuild, I think I will start him this year, but I doubt he's going to stick around for the remainder of a rebuild. I just don't think he will be good enough. Uh, running back, on the other hand, Jordan Howard, I do assume he will be here for the remainder of the video. Really darn good running back, 86 overall. Tariq Cohen at the backup. We could probably get some nice trade value for him, but I'm fine with keeping him. Wide receivers... The Bears did sign Allen Robinson from the Jaguars this offseason. Really solid player. Should certainly help Mitchell Trubisky. Taylor Gabriel, more of a slack guy. Don't really know what I'm going to do with him. Anthony Miller, he's a player I'd like to start for this year. See how he does for third round rookie from the University of Memphis. Tight end, Trey Burton. He's alright. Signed from free agency. Uh, Adam Shaheen is interesting. Second round pick back in 2017. Only 23 years old, so the tight end position is certainly interesting. Offensive line is pretty ugly. James Daniels, the second rounder from Iowa. He is a very solid player, in my opinion. I graded him as probably the second best interior lineman in this NFL draft outside of Quentin Nelson. And that's ahead of first round picks like Billy Price, Frank Ragnow. Yeah, I just said James Daniels, but Bears' second round pick is better than Frank Ragnow, our first round pick. That says something as a Lions fan to be unbiased right there. But outside of Daniels and Cody Whitehair, this offensive line is not great. And Whitehair's already 26? Dang, that's pretty old. I didn't realize he was that old. Defense. The defense is very interesting. Akeem Hicks, he's good, but I'm probably going to... He's only 28. I thought he was like at least 30 by now. Maybe I'll keep him. We'll see. Eddie Goldman's always been a player I've liked, but I might trade him. I don't know. Jonathan Buller, nah. Linebackers, Leonard Floyd, really solid. Quick development, only 25 years old, entering his third season. I want to keep him, but I, I don't know. Aaron Lynch, nah. Danny Trevathan, Nick Kwiatkowski, or Kwiatkowski, as I like to say, nah. But of uh, a player I'm most excited for during this rebuild is definitely going to be this man right here. The number 8 overall pick in this year's draft. Roquan Smith. This dude is a cheat code in Madden Simulation. This will be the only rebuild we have Roquan Smith in because he's impossible to trade for. He always gets like six or seven skill points for first year. Middle linebackers usually win Defensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. So Roquan should win Defensive Rookie of the Year this year unless something drastically goes wrong. And he's going to be like at least an 87 by the end of the year. Uh, secondary, but corners, I don't really like what we have. Kyle Fuller, he had a good year last year. He's been very inconsistent throughout his career. And I don't know. Eddie Jackson at three safety. He's solid entering his second year out of Alabama. He will be the safety this year. We'll see how it goes. Strong safety, Adrian Amos, or I guess Adrian Amos Jr. I never knew he was a junior. He is a free agent at the end of the year and someone who we definitely want to bring back as he is really good. I have been blabbering for almost four and a half minutes. Let's get to the trade. We will be trading Trey Burton, Aaron Lynch, and Bobby Massey to the New York Jets for Jamal Adams. We already have Adrian Amos at strong safety, but we could always move on to three safety. I wanted to start Eddie Jackson, but I couldn't really pass up the opportunity getting Jamal Adams. We are going to be trading Charles Leno Jr., Cody Whitehair, and Bryce Callahan to the Houston Texans for DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins is probably the third best wide receiver in the NFL, in my opinion. So we are getting Trubisky a really good target. But at the same time, we are making the offensive line worse. So we will have to get some offensive linemen, but we don't have to do it this year. We're not really in any hurry. 
to do well. We have traded three backup players who are going to get zero playing time this year to the Miami Dolphins for a potential top five pick. This game is so broken. Jonathan Hankins, who I just signed in free agency, as well as Danny Trevathan and Eddie Goldman, are headed to the Oakland Raiders for Khalil Mack. We will need to re-sign him, but I'd say this is a pretty good trade. Des Bryant and Jeremy Macklin were both just signed out of free agency, and they both, as well as former top 10 pick Kevin White, are headed to the Ravens for Michael Pierce in a fifth round pick. Pierce is one of the more underrated defensive tackles in the NFL and one of the more underrated players. Not a lot of people talk about him, but he is really good and one of the better players on the Ravens defense. We are going to be trading Kyle Fuller, Zach Miller, and McManus to the Browns for David Njoku. David Njoku was really good in the Browns rebuild, which was the last one we did. He developed into like a 90 overall, and the Browns, for whatever reason, really wanted Zach Miller. There are a few teams that do want Zach Miller, like the Lions, the Cowboys, but that makes sense because they both need tight ends, but the Browns have David Njoku, so I figured I'd get him. I could have gotten Miles Garrett, but I already got him twice, so boom, there we go. We're going to be trading Kayvon Webster, who I just signed. Eric Reed, who I also just signed, and Kyle Lawn to the Green Bay Packers for David Bakhtiari, one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL, so basically we just swapped Kyle Lawn for Bakhtiari. I did not expect this trade to be accepted, but I will gladly take it. Akeem Hicks, Taylor Gabriel, and Eddie Jackson to the Giants for their first and second round pick. We're going to be trading Prince of Mukamara, Jack B, who, are, who I signed, and Deion Sims to the Bills for a 1- a two, and a future three. We're going to be trading Bashad Breland, Adam Shaheen, and Benny Cunningham to my Lions for Marvin Jones. So our receiving core is Allen Robinson, Marvin Jones, and DeAndre Hopkins, plus we have Anthony Miller, too. We're going to be trading Anthony Miller, Tariq Cohen, and a first-round pick to the Texans for J.J. Watt. So Khalil Mack on one side of the defensive line, J.J. Watt on the other side of the defensive line. That's... That's pretty nasty right there. We're going to be trading Robert Ayers, Jordan Matthews, both of whom I just signed in free agency, and a fourth to the Texans for our first round pick so we get our pick back because I don't know how good we're going to be this year. I think we're going to be pretty bad considering we have like no offensive line and Trubisky at quarterback. We are a 77 overall, 77 offense, 83 defense, even though we have absolutely no corners. Actually, we have one. And Craven LeBlanc is the only one on the Ross. That can't be right. I feel like we have more. Yeah, Marcus Cooper and some guys down there. So this team probably won't do too well. Hopefully. That'd be fine with me. Season number one is in the books. And shocker, shocker, we missed the playoffs. Trubisky only has one skill point. That's probably not a good sign. Roquan Smith has six. I knew he was going to get six. I'm, I'm not shocked at all. We ended up going 7-9. and nine. That's a little bit better than I thought. I'm really only curious about how Trubisky and Roquan Smith did. Just, 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 yeah. Wow, he has star development. How do you get that? Okay. As I was trying to say, I only really care about seeing Trubisky and Roquan Smith st statistically. But for whatever reason, my mouth is not letting me say that. Dang! Trubisky played pretty well. Almost 4,200 yards, 27 touchdowns, 11 picks. That's pretty good. Plus, he is star development. I might hold on to him for another year. And then Mr. Roquan Smith. He probably had a good 130 tackles. Maybe three picks. Let's see. 124, two picks. Probably one in defensive rookie of the year. Let's get to the offseason. This does seem like a lot we're giving up. We're going to be trading Allen Robinson, Nick Kwiatkowski, and Leonard Floyd to the Eagles for Ronald Darby in a fourth-round pick. We need cornerbacks desperately, and this trade does save us money because I want to go after some free agents, even though the free agency class is terrible. I went after three players in free agency. It looks like two players accepted. Matthias Fairley rejected, but Bryant Poole and Terod Taylor accepted. Yes, I just said Terod Taylor. If you did not know, that is how he actually pronounces his name. We've been pronouncing it Tyrod all of these years, but it's actually Tyrod. I think Tyrod sounds much cooler, so I'm going to stick with Tyrod. Here's a look at our draft picks. We have picks 9, 10, 11, and 12 in the first round, 9 and 11 in the second round, and 12 in every round except for the fourth. Nick Bosa is still on the board. 
So is Rashawn Gary, Clellan Farrell, and Dexter Lawrence, but we don't need a defensive end at all because we do have Khalil Mack and J.J. Watt. We could always move Khalil Mack to outside linebacker, which is a possibility, but uh, we're going to be picking Josh Allen from Kentucky. We need two outside linebackers, so even if we did move Khalil Mack over, we would still need another one. He is a 78 overall with quick development. Nice pick. I did not expect this trade to be accepted, but Mr. Biscuit, Mitchell Trubisky, is headed to the Patriots. I sort of wanted to start him another season, but he will start in New England instead. And we're going to get Dante Hightower. We need some linebackers. We really need three linebackers. Our only good one is Roquan Smith. So Dante Hightower, welcome to the squad, and I am very sorry to let you go, Mr. Biscuit. I am sort of looking to trade my picks, but... I can't really trade my picks right now, so I figured I might as well just draft players and then trade them. So that's probably what we're going to do with Nick Bosa. Maybe we'll keep him. I don't know. He is an 80 overall. Very solid. We're going to be sticking with that best player available thing as we take Rashawn Gary with the 11th pick from Michigan. 77 overall. With the 12th pick, I will be picking DeAndre Baker from Georgia. I might keep him since he is a really solid corner, but C- minus zone coverage. That is awful. But really good press, solid man coverage, and a really good combine. Hopefully he's good. 76 overall with star development. So maybe we'll hold on to him, but just his zone coverage is so bad. 72. That is terrible. Here's a look at the rest of our draft. Bryce Love, 80 overall star development, pretty much for trade bait. Elgton Jenkins could be a starter, and then these two, whoop de doo We are going to be sending Terod Taylor, a first and a third to the Bills for Tredavious White. So now we officially do not have a quarterback on the roster. We have made the trade for our quarterback, Brian Rackpo, Brian Poole, and a third round pick to the Lions for Matthew Stafford. Before you say I'm being biased, the Lions picked Justin Herbert in the first round, so they don't really need Matthew Stafford anymore. So we would be glad to pick him up. I was doing some experimenting, and at the end of my experiment, we ended up with Todd Gurley. Yeah, pretty nice. Bye-bye, Jordan Howard. We are going to be trading Jordan Howard to the Oakland Raiders for Rodney Hudson. He is old, and he is expensive, but he's also really good. We are going to be sending a second rounder, a fourth rounder, and a future third to the Steelers for David DeCastro, one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL. I've already gotten Quentin Nelson twice, but I'm going to get him a third time. We're going to be trading Jenkins in a fourth round pick, so I believe our offensive line is complete. I think we might just need another receiver, and we should be good. We need a slot receiver, so I'm trading our first round pick next year to the Denver Broncos for a veteran, Emmanuel Sanders. Our offense is a 99, our defense is a 91. I would certainly say our offense is better than our defense, but I don't think it's better by 8 rating points. I'd probably say by more like 4 rating points. But I'll hopefully do really well this year. And, yeah, let's go to the we Super Bowl. We ended up going 13-3, and three, but we didn't make the Super Bowl. I don't really care where we lost otherwise. I just want to get to the next season and get to the big game. We went 15-1, and one, but we still didn't make it here in season number 3. I think we have to simulate another year. The team did not change headed in. From Season 2 to Season 3, and I think we're not going to change too much headed into Season number 4 either. Another year, and another no Super Bowl. We only won 11-5, and five. so I think we're going to go one more year. If we don't make it, then that's tough. We have gone 16-0, and and we finally make the Super Bowl. We did make a few off-season moves. We signed Antonio Brown. And Von Miller, I will show you guys that the 16 wins were legit and not force wins. So, team schedule. And, oh, that's preseason. Regular season, force win. None. Postseason, none. So, let's win this Super Bowl. And we end up beating the Bills 31-7. to We absolutely clobbered them. Getting the Von Miller Legacy Award, which is funny because we have Von Miller. Antonio Brown, which is funny because we got Antonio Brown, who actually just retired. So Antonio Brown will retire off a ring. And for anyone who is counting, Roquan Smith is a 99 overall. Make sure to vote for who we do next.